Katie, how many times have you been outside hunting on a hike or just doing anything in the great outdoors and you said, man, I really wish I'd have had a camera with me? That happens all the time. I always see a picture perfect moment, but I don't have my camera with me because I don't want to lug it around with me everywhere. And I really don't want it out in the elements. Well, Katie, Bushnell has a line of products to fit your needs. A line of ImageU spotting scope and binoculars. Well, Andrew, these look like just regular pairs of binoculars and a spotting scope. So what's the difference? Well, Katie, not only will these products help you see things at a distance, you can also take pictures and videos with them. Well, that's really cool because whenever I go out in the woods or out in the field, I always have binoculars or a spotting scope with me. So having the ability to take pictures or video is really an added benefit. So, Andrew, what are the differences between each of these models? Okay, the first one I have here is the Image View Spotting Scope. Now, by itself, it's just a great spotting scope. It has a 15 to 45 time zoom. Now, to use it just as a spotting scope, make sure the select knob over here is switched to eyepiece. And then you can just look through like you would a regular spotting scope. You know, your zoom is located right mm -hmm. here, and your focus knob is right there. Well, it looks really simple to use as a spotting scope, and it's got a really great zoom. But how do I use it as a camera? Now to use it as a camera, you're going to want to insert two AA batteries. Now if you're using it just as a spotting scope, you don't need the batteries. But the batteries go right over here. Okay. And just two, two AA's. Mm -hmm. The next thing you're going to want to do is insert an SD card. Now this, this spotting scope will accept up to a 4 gig SD card. And it has some internal memory, but not a whole lot. So you're probably going to want to use an SD card. Okay. You're going to be taking a lot of photos. The next thing you want to do is flip up the display screen and hold down on the on button. And you can see the screen will light up. Now, to use it as a camera, you're going to want to slide the selector knob over to the camera. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you're ready to take some photos. So are there any changes or modes I need to make before I take a picture? That's a good question. There are several different options you can go through. You can change some of the settings on it by hitting the menu button. There you can change, you know, the size of the photos, the quality, white balance. Um, your sharpness and your time and date stamp. Now once you've you know gotten all the settings you want you're ready to take a photo and to take a photo you just need to hit the snap button once. Now you can see on this display screen we have the little camera that mm -hmm. means it's in camera mode. Okay. There's our how much battery life we have and there's our picture quality down here. Okay. Now another great thing about this is it comes with its own remote and you know by using the remote all you have to do is just plug it in and just hit this button to take photos with. That way you don't have to bump bump this at all. Now to adjust the focus on this one, you do it just like you did the spotting scope okay. up here on this knob. And to zoom in on it, just hit these up arrow buttons. And you can see at the top there, it shows us how much we're zooming in. Mm -hmm. Now Andrew, this also allows you to take video, right? That does, Katie. Now to switch it from camera mode to video mode, all you have to do is hold down on the snap button on the scope. Mm -hmm. Or you can do it on the remote here. And okay. after you hear the beep, a little icon will change from a camera to film, and that means you're ready to take video. Okay. Now take video, start it, just hit it like you would to take a photo, just hit the snap button once, then it'll count down the time of how long your video is, and to stop it, just hit the button again. Now to review everything, just hit the OK button, and you can scroll through all the photos that you've taken, and you can also delete them with this. Well, that's great. I can really see using this from a blind or if you're out scouting animals or if you're a bird watcher because you can really observe nature from a distance and then you can take pictures and video of it. Yeah, that's really just why this is such a cool product. As you can tell from the picture of this goose I took, it takes pretty good photos. This goose was about 90 yards away from me when I took these photos. That's really great. Now, I see you have two different pair of binoculars here. Now, what are the differences? Okay, this is the 8x30 image view binoculars, and it has a 5 megapixel camera and instant replay. Now, the functionality of it's pretty much the same as the spotting scope. This takes two AAA batteries, and it'll also only take a 1, S one gig SD card, which you insert back here. Okay. Now, to get going with this, all I have to do is hold the on-off button. As you can see, the screen will light up, and from there, you can go to the menu button. We can change, you know, like your white balance, your time and date stamp, picture quality, and stuff like that. Now, to take a photo, all you have to do is hit the snap button up here, okay. and you also adjust the focus by turning this knob. Now, to zoom in on an object, just hit the up and down arrows right here. Now, to switch it to video mode, what you have to do is hit these side arrows. And you'll see once it hits to the film icon, mm -hmm. that means you're ready to take short video clips as well. Well, that's great. That's really great features. Well, these seem smaller in a more compact design. They are, Katie. These are the 10 by 25 ImageView binoculars with an LCD screen. 
Now these don't have the playback capabilities like these binoculars or the spotting scope does, but it still takes pretty good photos and video. Now to get started you need two AAA batteries like you did with the other binoculars and it'll accept up to a one gig SD card. So you know if you're looking for one with a little bit better price, more compact, and um, still take great photos and video, this would be the one for you. Now I can really see using these at a sporting event if I'm hiking or even if I'm hunting. That's exactly right Katie, you know wherever you need magnification and a camera is where these products come in handy. Now, especially when I'm out hunting, that'd be great because a lot of times they'll say, yeah, I saw a real nice one and uh -huh. then nobody believes me. <laughs> so having a camera on me will definitely take care of that. Okay, you know what the, the uniqueness of these products, and the quality and design of them definitely makes them a must-have product. For more information on the Bushnell Image View products, to watch this segment again or to learn how you can purchase your Bushnell products, go to musthaveoutdoors.com.